Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor. I'm a Sony Global Imaging Ambassador. I'd like to talk to you about uh, achieving fast autofocus in low ambient light. I know it's uh, an area of some concern for some photographers, but the cameras are more than up to the task. You just need to make sure you've got the correct settings in camera. DP review measure these cameras as having a minus three EV um, at an F2 uh, aperture. What does that actually mean? It basically means you can photograph and lock onto your subject in extremely low light. We're talking about uh, maybe darkened rooms, i.e. rooms with uh, no lights on a long way from windows, where we can look at uh, maybe um, photographing and using autofocus when there's little more light than the light coming from a screen of a mobile phone. Uh, this image was captured with uh, an 85 1.8 lens at 12, uh, well, sorry, at 80,000 ISO. So you can see that the cameras can uh, uh, achieve and uh, critical focus in these very low ambient light conditions. So let's take a look at some of the settings. Well, first of all, it's not just about the camera settings. Uh, we're going to get a much faster AF in low ambient light when we're choosing a wide aperture prime rather than maybe an f4 zoom lens. Okay, we're just um, we're using an f1.8. You're going to gather four times or more light um, to work with, and the AF systems like light. Uh, they will reward you with fast AF uh, if we have those fast apertures. Here's another image uh, taken just a few moments from the previous one. This is working with a very low wattage globe here. And so I'm having to use uh, um, the, uh, the aperture wide open on the lens 1.8. And even then I'm having to push the ISO to 12,800 ISO. But you can see we have got critical focus on this subject. There are some considerations when stopping down, however. Uh, if you are going to stop down and reduce the amount of light, uh, sometimes the uh, the Sony cameras will reward you with fast AF and sometimes they won't and this does depend on the settings you're using. For instance, uh, I am stopping down in this street scene. I want uh, a broader depth of field. Okay, and uh, also on this one, this one is so dark I actually didn't notice uh, the guy sitting on the on the bench until I started um, uh, lining up the shot and the EVF uh, increased its gain and I did notice that there was actually somebody sitting on the bench there. When you're stopping down maybe to f8 or f11 you are going to need the correct settings in order to focus quickly. Here's a, a little movie that I've prepared showing you how a mirrorless uh, camera achieves focus. Now it's very different from DSLR technology. DSLRs typically stay wide open and then stop down to take the image. Whereas if we're stopping down with the mirrorless camera, they're stopped down and then you'll see what happens when I play this movie. They basically breathe wider to find the focus. If I just change the setting to AFC, continuous, okay, uh, then you'll see it doesn't open up. So we're having to lock on and achieve focus in that stopped down aperture and that is much more difficult and this is why many people on the forums uh, complain that the camera is struggling to achieve focus. So let's take a look. When capturing images in continuous autofocus, AFC, alpha mirrorless cameras will focus at the aperture selected. So that basically means in low ambient light, the cameras could struggle to lock on and find your subject. Let's see that one more time, this time with the 55mm f1.8 lens. Again, if I try and uh, focus in AFS mode, uh, single mode, then it's going to open up briefly to lock onto the subject. And if I change the setting to AFC, continuous, it's basically not going to open up and therefore the camera will struggle. And again in AFS. Now in AFS, most Sony lenses open up momentarily uh, to help the AF system lock on. If you are capturing images using smaller apertures in AFC and low light, you are effectively starving the AF system of the light it needs to focus quickly. And this is the primary reason that I see a lot of uh, comments on forums with people having trouble locking on in low light. 
Now for fast AF, choose a wide aperture lens and shoot wide open in AFC. Continuous focus is not bad if you're basically just using the aperture wide open, giving the sensor the maximum amount of light. Or if you are going to stop down um, to apertures such as f5.6, 8 or 11, choose AFS. There are unfortunately a couple of AFS exceptions. There are a couple of lenses in Sony's lineup that don't open up momentarily in order to help the camera lock onto the focus. So let's take a look at a couple of them. Now they're definitely in the minority, but if you are choosing um, a lens that you want to use in very low ambient light, uh, and you want to stop down uh, for increased depth of field, it is worth checking this out. Now you can just check this out in a camera story or you can look on forums for the very few lenses that don't sort of breathe wider to find focus. In this particular example, I've got the, um, the FE 2470 F4. It's a Zeiss lens. Now you can see the aperture is a lot smaller already. Okay, I've stopped down to F8 here and here I'm going to try and find focus and you can see it opens up very slightly but it's probably not enough to help the focus system out not much widening of the aperture to help the system okay let's take a look at another lens this is the 85 mil f 1.4 it's certainly a gorgeous gm lens it has perhaps the best bokeh of any lens that i currently own but it is not designed really to be shooting in a studio at f11 with the modeling lamps or maybe shooting out on location again stop down where you need to find critical focus again if i play this movie you'll see here i'm stopping the lens down using the aperture ring on the lens and now in afs i'm going to lock on and again you see it doesn't open up OK, um, and in AFC, it still doesn't open up. So that is going to be a huge struggle when you're working in very low ambient light and you're wanting to find critical focus. There is a tip for reducing the AF lag. Remember, um, the aperture does have to breathe momentarily wider so the camera can find focus and then you'll hear the focus lock on and you'll be able to take the picture. It's not very long, but it is a little bit of a lag while, while the camera does that. That is why mo a lot of people shoot in AFC is we don't have that lag um, associated. Now, um, let's take a look at um, this movie I prepared. Again, it's with the, uh, the 55 1.8 that does breathe wider. And again, you can see it's breathing wider in order to find critical focus. Now, I'm going to change the uh, menu setting here. Uh, basically, we're going in, uh, we're switching off the uh, live view setting. So it's starting wide open and then stopping down to my chosen aperture. And that is a good way of reducing lag. Let's dive into the menus and see how we can switch that setting effect off. I'm in the second um, camera menu here on page seven on this particular camera. What you're looking for is the live view display. Uh, this second camera menu replaced the gear wheel on the second generation of full frame um, Sony cameras. Now the setting effect is on by default. So just uh, go into that menu and switch the setting effect off. Now, generally you want to be able to switch the setting effect um, back on as soon as you're finished with your low light photography. The mirrorless advantage is having that setting effect on. It gives you that depth of field preview. It shows you that what you see is what you get view. So it warns you that whether you're underexposing or overexposing. So that reduces the amount of need to chimp or review your images. So you definitely want to switch this back on uh, when you finish your low light photography. Let's um, uh, go into and set that up as a custom key so we can quickly toggle between the two. So I'm going again in the second camera menu there, page eight. We're going into the custom key. I'm going to set this uh, down to the trash can custom key, uh, custom key four, and I'm setting that up for live uh, view display select. 
Now, um, I'll just show you where this is because there's, uh, there's quite a few options you can assign to a custom key these days. You're going on to page 18 there in order to find the live view display select, and then it'll just be a simple toggle. It's on or it's off. This might also be a useful custom key button for people who shoot in studios who are using um, non-Sony commanders, uh, Sony's uh, flash commanders to um, trigger uh, off-camera flash will automatically switch the setting effect to off uh, when those commanders are put on. But uh, non-Sony uh, triggers may not do this, so this might be another good reason for setting up that uh, custom key for this particular function. Uh, and there's another tip for seizing the moment. Uh, I only advise this really if you are stopping down, but again, you can dive into the menus. I'm in the first camera menu now. We're in the AF1 uh, tab. That's page 15 on my A7R3. We're going and looking for priority setting in AFS. Now, typically um, it's not set to release. So if you're wanting no hesitation when the camera takes the picture, i.e. near enough is good enough for the focus, which might be enough if you stop down to f8. You don't absolutely need critical focus. You just need uh, approximate focus. And you definitely want to seize the moment rather than wait for the focus to lock on, which it can sometimes do in very low light. So just move that from balanced emphasis to release, and then you, um, the shutter release will respond immediately uh, to you firing the uh, that or capturing that image. So um, let's talk about uh, flash photography in, in scenes where we've got exceptionally low light. Uh, you are perhaps going to be using a flash. And again, on the forums, I see um, a few problems here. Um, so let's take a look um, at my recommendations for getting fast autofocus when using flash. The AF Illuminator doesn't work with all Sony cameras um, when we're working with flash, but it does work with a few. Uh, on my A6500 camera, for instance, the AF Illuminator does actually work with my HVL 45RM flash. So let's take a look at that in operation here. OK, so quite quickly, you can see that little uh, red light will help illuminate the subject so the AF system um, can lock on in near total darkness and also with the aperture stop down. So let's take a look at um, uh, my flash, which is a HVL uh, dash F45 RM. It has an LED light, which we could use in movie making, but I can also use uh, to uh, this LED to illuminate my subject very briefly um, before um, taking the picture. Now, this may not be an option for non Sony flashes, so but it is highlights that it is possible if you're, say, an events photographer and you're struggling with this there is an option uh, and, it, and it is available for Sony flash. It, for all I know, it may be um, available in non Sony flash, but you're going to have to look elsewhere for advice on what, so, um, what flashes support this feature. Here I am again in near total darkness. And again, you'll see that LED light just light very briefly to help the camera lock on. Again, I'm in AFS. You can hear the beep as it locks on. Um, I probably my last piece of advice is uh, sometimes people are trying to find critical focus when critical focus is really not that necessary. If you are stopped down in, say, a landscape scenario uh, such as this, you're stopped down uh, to f11. Uh, you've got an ultra wide angle lens, maybe 15 or 16 millimeter. One would have to question why you're trying to find um, focus using the autofocus system at all. In these instances, I will typically just set the uh, the distance to six meters in manual focus and take the picture, knowing that the depth of field is more than enough for everything um, from very close to the camera, say just one, one and a half meters away from the lens, right through to infinity will be sharp. And so I really don't need to um, use the autofocus systems in these instances. Hopefully um, 
uh, you've learnt a few things about um, the Sony systems and uh, you'll be able to put some of these uh, this uh, knowledge into practice so you can lock on quickly in very low ambient uh, light the next time you go out with your Sony Alpha camera. Just give me the thumbs up if you found this useful. Um, um, share it with other people who you may know that are struggling with their autofocus in low light. And also head over to um, the markgaylor.com website. I've got lots of free information there, lots of downloads for Photoshop, Lightroom, uh, free ebooks. Uh, make a small donation if you value this um, education, and that will help me uh, continue making more of these tutorials. Okay, I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Global Imaging Ambassador.